A composite vertical plane surface shown is in contact with the water. Determine the force acting on the gate and compute the moment of this force about axis AB and about BC. So that's the given figure. So let's divide the trapezoidal gate into this manner so that one gate is rectangular plus with the water surface 3 by 4 and the other one is triangular 2 meters base 5 minus 3 4 meters height so the location of the CG and center pressure will be here for rectangular gate since the water surface is flush with the liquid surface CP1 is located two thirds of four so eight thirds from the top while for the triangular area we have to locate the center of pressure yet take note that the centroid of area and the center of pressure are not vertical vertically aligned for triangular gate so we must solve for ev2 first then after that we do align through center of pressure to if the length is l then the center of pressure 2 will be half of l from either end of l so remember that principle so this is the center of pressure for the entire area it should be closer to CP1 because area 1 is greater so the magnitude of the force there would be greater also so at CP1 ax F1 at CP2 ax F2 and at CP the bigger center of pressure acts the total pressure or the force so F therefore is F1 plus F2 and we will not locate CP for the entire area, but rather we use the location of center of pressure for its forces by Varignon's theorem. So F is gamma of water by the H area, where gamma of water is, where F1 is 9.81, bar H for area 1 is half of 4, so 2, then area 3 meters by 4 meters. So F1 is 9.81 times 2. 2 is half of 4. CG1, that's 2. And area is 3 by 4. So F1 is 235.44 kN. F2, bar H2 for the triangle is 2 thirds of, this is 2 thirds of 4, so 8 thirds. Then the area 1 half of 2 times 4. So F2 is 9.81 times 8 thirds bar the eighths of triangle, 1 half 2 times 4 the area. So F2 is 104.64 kN. Therefore, the total pressure or F is equal to 235.44 plus 104.64. So F is 340.1 kN. Then for moment of the force about AB, We'll first find L, uh, EV2 first. So EV is in general I sub CG over area bar H for vertical plane. So that's bar H. So I sub CG of triangle is BH of triangle, height of triangle cube over 36 divided by area 1 half BH, BH triangle bar H times bar h. So simplifying this cancel bht so it is h square over quantity 18 bar h. So that's the formula. Height of triangle square over 18 bar h. If you can remember for rectangle it is height of rectangle square over 12 bar h. For triangle height of triangle square over 18 bar h. So substitute height of triangle is 4 4 square over 18 and bar h is 8 thirds, 2 thirds of 4 or 8 thirds, which is this. So E sub V is 1 third meter. Then let's compute for L by similar triangles. L as to this distance, this is 
8 thirds plus EV2, so 8 thirds plus 1 third, so L as to 8 thirds plus 1 third equals 2 as to 4. So therefore, L is 9 times 2 over 4, that's 1.5 meters. So we can now compute the moment of the force about AB. It is the sum of the moments of its components by Varignon's theorem. So let's use that. So it is F1 times half of 3 plus F2, which acts here. The moment arm from axis AB is 3 plus L over 2, where L is 1.5. So moment about AB is 235.44 times half of 3, 3 halves, plus 104.64 times quantity 3 plus half of L, 3 plus L over 2. So computing moment of about axis AB is 745.6. And finally, for moment about BC, it is 235.44 times this distance, which is 4 minus 8 thirds. So this is 4 thirds. CP1 from the bottom, 4 thirds. While CP2 from the bottom is 4 minus 8 thirds minus EV2. So moment about BC is 235.44 times 4 thirds plus 104.64 times quantity 4 minus barred H of triangle, which is 8 thirds, and minus EV2. So this distance remains. So moment VC is equal to 418.6 kilonewton meter.